TGR. Hey everybody, welcome to our E3 2019 preview for Ubisoft's press conference. I'm Sean. Rudy. Onyx. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got eight games to discuss in relation to what may be shown at Ubisoft's press conference. Hopefully these games will get us hyped. Hopefully. We're going to try and figure out what they can show to get us hyped. Right. We're going to talk about it. Uh, you can jump to the timestamps in the description sure and comments can. below to find the games that you want to hear us talk about. Gentlemen, let's start with arguably the longest running Will They Show It game uh, that Ubisoft's had at least for the past few E3s. Something Rudy really wants to play. Yeah. A new Splinter Cell. Yeah, man. And like the tweet that they went ahead and like deleted and they were like, oh no, we're just joking, blah, blah, blah. That's not happening. Do you guys hear about that? No. Yeah, somebody tweeted, uh, like, uh, I think it was that, one of the VAs or whatever. They were like, oh, having so much fun recording hashtag Splinter Cell. Oh, I think I did read that. Yeah. And like, they went ahead and they were like, oh, <laughs> just, kidding. just kidding. That's not really happening. They it's like, up. they goofed up. It's long overdue. It's happening. It's long overdue. It's so we, long overdue, man. We the last Splinter Cell that I've played was actually, God, it it was it was the one where like they kidnapped his daughter. I think it was. Does that ring a bell at all? It's a uh, uh, Splinter Cell. It, they had the first trilogy on like black, yeah. like PS2 and Xbox PS2. OG. Yeah. Then they had a fourth game on the next gen back then, PS3 and Xbox 360, and they had one more near the tail end of that generation. Was that Double Agent? No, that was the one after Double Agent. Okay, that was... That's the one that I played. I forget the name, but that was the last one I played. That was the one that I didn't play. It was good. But I played all the other ones. It was good. Gritty, Reboot, etc., you know? Was that the one where they got the new V? There was a sixth one. Yeah, that's where where Ironside wasn't in it. Yes. And everybody was like, what is this? This guy sounds like a Boy Scout in comparison. Yeah. Because, dude, Ironside's voice is like... That, iconic yeah iconic like yeah. Uh, that's sam fisher we need to get it back yes. so what what do you what would you what would you like to see in a new splinter cell everything Gameplay. like it, i mean at one point it what was it it was snake uh sam fisher and what was the other one the siphon filter it was a little bit more like you know yeah, actiony action, not, but yeah. those were like the the, the three, three cool espionage guys. espionage yeah, yeah, yeah. spies uh, sam, stealth sam stuff. fisher was an icon you know and i say was because he's he not still really... is in my eyes <laughs> <laughs> i, I want to see more you know i want to see some improvements to the stealth i've always yeah. thought the gameplay was a little stiff in comparison to like metal very Gear. very linear yeah so like i would love to see something like that an evolution of like a hyper stealth game yeah uh, Phantom Pain is really good with that, so we'll have to see. Yeah, uh, I hope. Yeah. Do you think this could be a game that they drop for this year? Is it, it finally time? It's all, be it's crazy. been time, man. Like this time. is so overdue. If, if they drop it within a year, that that'd be at least six months from release date. That's ballsy for you. Ho- holiday game. Maybe if it's really that far in development, then yeah, they could do it. But not very many companies do that, so they like to hype it up for at least a year. Yeah, and especially with Splinter Cell, like look yeah. at Beyond Good and Evil, you know, which whatever. But yeah, so Fair. Splinter Cell. Okay, well let's talk about a different uh, Tom Clancy franchise. Uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint got an announcement a few weeks ago. Yeah, I'm not personally very excited for this game or franchise. Wake up. Oh, sorry. Neither's Onyx. I, I'm i not going to get it, but... So there you it, go. It's just... The, the trailer was very... It, the main guy reminded me of Kratos. And <laughs> I, he was in the previous game anyway, so I think... I, the I thing know. is, like, Ghost Recon... I don't, I don't follow the series that well, but... The, yeah, the last Ghost Recon I played was, like... PS2 the, era? No, it was on a 360. And um, like, for me, it was PS2. It was... Uh, it was um, Ghost Recon, it was Gra, right? Is what I think, it was I think so. Advanced yeah. Warfighter something or something like, like that. that. Yeah. yeah. And it was cool, but like I yeah. just I don't I am just not really into military shooters anymore. Yeah. Modern yeah. Warfare 2 is like the last one that I was really like, yeah. yeah. This this would be a little filler for me. We know it's gonna be at the conference. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. It's filler. Yeah. I'm same. gonna kinda tune out when it comes same, on. Same, same, same. Cool. Sorry, if you guys like it, like I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I mean it's just but you know which series has potential, and I don't care about it anymore, but there's always potential. Assassin's Creed. So we've heard something about the next one, right? What was the rumor? Was it oh Greece? Oh my god, um, no. No. 
I forgot what it was. Oh, we we just went to no, we just went to Greece. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's how much this guy actually pays attention to the franchise. Oh man, sorry guys. No, it's all good. I man. should have looked this up at a time. I forgot what it was. It was Assassin's Creed, something with a G or an that's O. That's why I said Greece. I know. I don't know. Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> oh my god, if it's Assassin's Creed Mayan civilization though, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. But it's not. It's not. That's not. <laughs> Was it like was it like they need to go to Japan. Spain or it was a European country? You're right. They need to go to Japan. Like Assassin's Creed Samurai and Ninja? Hello. That's gonna yeah. be a bomb game. I mean they did China. It was cool. But wasn't it like on a PSP? Uh yeah. Or it it was one of the handheld ones. Yeah. Oh, wow. And they sell it as like a pack. It was cool. I mean it did its job. But Origins was Was it fun. Vikings? Oh maybe. Was it, it Norway? Vikings. I don't know, but maybe it's Vikings. I think Vikings is part of it. I can't remember, to be I honest. Know. I mean, if they're going to show a new Assassin's Creed... I didn't even know I had silence on it. What? Oh, that's the Persona 5 jingle. I really thought this one was silence. I'm sorry, guys. You never okay. see it coming. <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, the last Assassin's Creed I was really interested in was Black Flag. But it wasn't we for the Assassin's were. Creed stuff. No, yeah. it was, it was the for pirate stuff. Was so pirates. good. It was fun. That was also a launch title, guys. Like I know we may not have we may never have played it had we had it not been a launch title. That's true. Possibly. So because at that point, like games were scarce. But but then we were like, okay, we're back on the Assassin's Creed train, and then there yeah, was Unity, and, the next one, yeah. and it's just been eh, Unity yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm I don't just not know. interested in the series. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, I'm not really interested in our next game. Watch Dogs 3. Really? I, I, Similar. I, so the first one fell into the whole, like, it, fell it, was, it was a bull shot, right? Oh, they showed man. They showed a lot of stuff, and then and they, some stuff they didn't make back. it. It yeah. looked way different than their Completely first review. Completely different. Because they were way too, they thought they could push that <laughs> at the time. They could yeah. Um, Watch Dogs 2 came out, and I heard they remedied a lot of the issues from the first one. Yep. Skipped Never it. played it. Didn't care. Same thing with Watch Dogs 3. I, like, I, I just... I don't know. It was a really cool concept for next gen. If yes. they had if they had hit it out of the park with the first game... Oh, my god! If gosh. they let it, like, maybe an, an extra year to, like, bake in there and yeah. really get it... That actually might have been a franchise I would have followed. Yeah. But because it was such a... Ugh. It was such an, an awesome idea of, at any point, you could just control the environment yeah, using yeah, your yeah. phone. Of, like, oh, there's cops coming. Oh, I'm going to raise the thing. And now they slam into yeah. the wall. Which, like, I mean, you still could do that. Yeah. You, I mean, you but could do that in the game. It just didn't... Like, the execution wasn't yeah, very wasn't well. There, and it just yeah. became a a map fest of activities. Far cry. And the driving was really yeah, crappy. Yeah. The driving was pretty crappy, too. Especially in comparison to, like, GTA. So it was like, yep, yeah, I'm at not... that time, GTA was, like, GTA the... 5, dude. Like, that was bonkers, but... Mm. I don't know. I, I'm for that one. I'm cautiously optimistic because I do like my techie I know. games. Yeah. And... I, now that I think about it, so if they're gonna show off Watch Dogs Three, it can't be a current gen game. No. Make that oh. a next gen game and try to meet the vision that they were looking for the In first the original time. One? But take it to an, the next level now right. that we are going into the next generation. Yeah, because that first reveal still looks impressive. If you go back and look at it, it's like, damn, that really looks good. So if they if they yeah. can if they do it. And, yeah. they do it right. and better, then I'd be in. Yeah. Yep. So maybe they'll cool. save. Maybe they'll hold off on that. Yeah. You know what I would be in regardless. <laughs> Rayman, baby. Rayman, Rayman Legends is such a good platformer, and I don't think have either of you played it. I have. You have played it, right? Uh, not much, but yeah. I have. I have, have you it. played it at all. I, I have it on the Switch and on the PlayStation. God, I wish I should force you to play it someday. Like all three of us just play it together. It's I such mean, a do good a lot experience. Like, I, I enjoy it. I think it's cool because initially I think I just finished getting off of my Celeste yeah. uh, hype and it was I thought that it was like just a platformer and then I was like, Oh, there's so many other things that you can yeah. do in this. There's a lot of stuff in Rain Man and, and, and what they've done with the platformers, like people have said like it has rivaled and sometimes even surpassed like Mario design. Yeah, I can see that. It's good, man. Rain Man is really solid, so I, I really want to see more of that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I've just I've never been really big into Rayman. I gotta Man, force him into playing. It. But I know it's it's a quality game. Yeah, so it is. Sure. It's a hell of a platform. I'll borrow it. We can play it together. It's a multiplayer game. It's fun. Yeah, we can do a lot. It's play. better with friends. 
You know what game might be better at French 2? Well, if we ever see it? Well, then we know it's not coming to E3. They've said that. Bones, Bones, man. Skull and Bones. Yeah. That's like, that's again, we, we like Black Flag for the pirating, and this was like, oh, here's the pirating. But it's like a multiplayer game, and like, yep. there may not be, maybe that's where they're delaying it. Maybe they're going to add a single player component to it. I don't know. There was no beat, all bones. Yeah. <laughs> and I yeah. think we talked about this last year, yeah. too. We yeah. were like, uh, it can't just be multiplayer. It's got to have a campaign. It's like, gotta it's got to be. I want to explore the world, not yeah. just shoot people with chips. I mean, you know, even in a game that was a little go catch our review of Kingdom Hearts 3 in the pirate section. Right. right. You could still do that, though. You could just yeah. go off and for. And I was having flashbacks to, oh, this is like Black Flag. Yep. And that's what that was supposed to be, was. All black, all black flag, black flag all, yeah. all the time. Like all, all pirates. But all of the pirate stuff, yeah. It sounds like they started small and they didn't want it to be a big thing. And yeah. then everybody thought it was going to be a big thing. And they're like, well, it's not a big thing. And then they're like, well, we don't want it. And they're like, well, crap. Now yeah, we have to, make now a have big to go thing. back and make it a big thing. If this game were to come out, just the pirating stuff, no exploring of the world, it's not going to be. No. No, it's not going to no, be. No, people want black flag. Yeah. That's what we were interested in. And I, I don't know what happened. They did a survey. I remember that a few years ago. When yep. They were like, yeah. would you want more pirate stuff? And a lot of people obviously checked yes. So why why didn't they think, like, let's make a pirate adventure game? I don't know. It was know probably just a poor management decision somewhere yeah. to say, nah. Multiplayer. We don't want to invest a whole lot into this. Why give people IP. what they want? Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, then they showed it off. And everybody, we were. I remember, they were like, yeah, female captain. Like, yes, this is going to be great. Oh, it's just multiplayer? Yeah. You? Well, I mean, I don't know. Well, we have two potentially saving graces, really. Beyond Good and Evil 2 might actually be an incredible game. The I stuff that they've man. shown looks good. I just, I still don't know enough from the gameplay. I feel like that was one of those, like, really early, like, reveals. So is this... Like a CGI reveal. Is this, does this or have CG. RPG elements to it? It is. If they go to what Beyond Good and Evil 1 was, it's a Zelda game. Okay. You, you have That's a right. big world, you go to dungeons, you get items, etc., etc. So it's a it's a Zelda game in, in a sense, but Beyond Green Evil 2 doesn't look like that. It needs to be an epic game. I feel like That's they've, what they're trying they've to go pitched for. it and sold it like it's going to be some space Huge opera epic. space, yeah. The whole thing with like people developing stuff Oh, for that it, was no... Like, yeah, I hope they got rid of that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this game that I'm just like, what are they trying to do? We haven't heard of that in a while. What was his that name? That was last year. That was, um... It wasn't Elijah Wood, was it? It was Robin. 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 Yeah, from uh, uh, Batman. <laughs> the Dark Knight Rises. Oh, oh was it really? Uh, yeah. Um, wow, that his name is it's like. Whoa. From uh, <laughs> Angels oh in the God. Outfield. Do you mind? I'm just going to look it up real quick. But just keep talking. Keep talking. Keep I talking. can't remember his name. But yeah. No, he, I remember. He, he was the one that started this organization for community collaboration of, of art. Yeah. Um, there he was. Joseph Gordon Levitt. Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yes. Thank you. Nailed Jesus. it. Jesus. Angels totally, in the totally. I don't know. Uh, the yeah, game, Jesus. I mean, they have, they've showed stuff. They showed a lot more behind closed doors. Some of yeah. the stuff leaked. I saw some footage. Like, I don't know. I, of somebody jumping across rooftops yeah, with a jetpack. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, it, there's potential, but, like, I feel like it was a really early reveal. It probably was, but they knew because there were a lot of legendary announcements in the previous years yeah, yeah. and they were like hey we've got our own legendary announcement that nobody nice. thinks is ever coming out yep and we're watching this trailer and you know you see the pig and it's not the same pig but you're like oh this is clearly beyond good and evil yeah. but what's happening what's going on super and, m for yeah. mature like the cursing and everything it was wow. very like yeah. guardians feel yeah. to it yeah, yeah, it yeah, was yeah, yeah. really cool we'll see i guess we have to see more yeah i have faith in it hopefully they have deliver. faith in the designer he's a great like game designer so so for this one, they need to show gameplay. Yeah. yeah. Like a solid, like, here's 10, ten minute minutes. demo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Right there. You know what game I never played, though? Well, hang on. When oh. is when is this coming out? Yeah, We don't have a date. There's no date at all. It could Do be a next-gen game. Yeah, you're right. Oof. It could be a next-gen game. Oof. It might actually, sh it'd probably be better if it was a next-gen game. If it's going to look like the way that they showed it, then yeah. Yep. Mm, or at the very least cross-gen. Okay, I'll, I'll go there. I'll say I'll, I'll agree there. It could be a cross-gen game. We're right there, man. We're right at the cusp. We're so we're this is a year that, and a half away. This from is PS5. the weird E3 where it's like the last E3 before. Well, that'll be next year. 
The, no, oh. I mean the last E3 before we can start talking about next gen. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, next year for sure. Next like, year is all the next, the next gen, gen games. No, yeah. 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 So this oh, yeah. is the last year without this big without next annoying, gen blowout. Yeah. <laughs> so without the annoying cross gen, yeah. or whatever, it's gonna happen. Next year's gonna be very interesting, but we'll see. <laughs> well, that backwards compatibility might yeah. come in handy. So uh, last game, I think this is very likely to be announced. Yeah, it could happen. I, I, yeah. I, I would be shocked it. if it wasn't because it did very, it did really, really well. It did, it did, it did so well. And now that there's so many more switches out there, I think they could sell even more. Mario and Rabbids two. Mario and Rabbids two. Battle for the Kingdom again. I don't know what they would call it. What was it the game called? Uh, Kingdom Battle. Kingdom Battle. Kingdom, yeah. I mean, I never played the first one, but I know you guys loved it. It's so I, good. It was great. I think so I need good. to play it sometime. The somewhere. The, I, the opera boss. Yes. Oh man, man. that's so good. Yeah, the whole song yeah. it was great. So that's good. Awesome. Yeah, you have no idea what we're talking no, about. No, no. I thought of like it. Here. It was uh, it, it, for me. It was a sleeper hit. Like yeah, yeah. Mario and, and rabbits it's so or whatever. Well, though, but I, I get what you're saying. Like it wasn't like for me. Like yeah. I I went in with no expectations, yeah. and that's why like. It was when such I played a weird, it, like, was just, it was a weird mashup. Like XCOM, Mario, Rabbit well, from Rayman. Like, that what? actually scared me because XCOM games, I've enjoyed them, but I They're find them to be a little too difficult yeah. for yeah. what I want to play in that kind of style. Yeah. And I was a little scared that this was going to be too difficult for me, but I think, I can't remember if there's difficulty modes or not. There probably is. I think there is. Mm, normal maybe. hard. I think, I, yeah, I played it on, not easy, but I played it on... Like second normal? I, if there were three, I would have played it on normal. But I, I got through it, and I enjoyed it. And yeah. it did get tough at times. Yeah. But was it, it was fair. It was fair. Yeah. And when you screwed up, you knew you screwed up. Oh, yeah. There you were know? a couple times where it was like, oh, man, I wish I could grind out some better weapons or something. Yep. But, uh... You know, for the sequel, you know, it'd be cool if they actually bring in Rayman. Like, this is the Rayman universe. It's rabbits. That is true. Like, they could bring in Rayman and really like bring in some Rayman characters because Rayman does have like two or three like characters from that franchise that could be party members or other Nintendo IPs. Well, they brought in Donkey Kong. That's what I'm saying, right? They brought in, Don in Donkey DLC. Kong. Right, and, and Donkey Kong makes sense in, in this. Like, I can. Oh see yeah, Donkey because Kong there was there. a. a Donkey Kong Rabbit. Right, right. So it, just, it makes sense, but like, there's like Star Fox would be cool to see, but I don't know if it would make too much sense. No. But it would though, because you can have like, no. like their blasters. W and Wario and Waluigi. Oh yeah, yeah. They're gonna show up, and they're gonna be conspiring with the Rabbids. That'd be interesting. That would be a sequel. That'd be legit. Yeah, and I bring in and bring in Rayman. <laughs> <laughs> they need to bring Rayman, man. Come on, Rayman for Smash. It's happening. Oh jeez. Well. We'll save that for Nintendo. Yeah, talk, well, yeah, but we'll save that for that. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna see at least two characters. For that. Anyway, that's that's what I think I want from Mario Rabbids too. I want to see Rayman and just you know expansions on like their battle system. Yeah, more character types, more yeah, yeah, yeah. more playable characters, more ability. I, what, was, I there, wish was there a good enemy the, variety? The one yeah, thing was. that I did not like was the fact that Mario always had to be in your party. Oh, because good. I feel like yeah. Because, Did he? Yeah, he, I feel like you could swap him out. Nope. The, Mario the, was there, guaranteed, no matter what. No matter what, he had to be in your party. The, that's, so, that's also familiar too. I think I heard that. Because times. like, if you take him out of the equation, there's so many other combinations that you could do that would. I mean, Mario's OP in the game, oh. by far, but it's just like uh, get him out. Yeah, and it, get didn't other, you, it didn't give you like. I, total control. I thought it was you had to have at least one Mario character in your party. I don't think so, man. I think it's definitely. Let us know, internet. Yeah, I, correct us, internet. Yeah. Let I us know. If like now we can, can HR battle it. Well, do you remember taking him out? That'll be a quick one. Nah. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's the answer right there on Google. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, I would be really excited to see a Mario and Rabbids 2. Yeah, I'm down. I'd pre order that day one. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Easy. It's, it's uh, just. I didn't expect anything from it, and like I didn't even like 100% it. It was a beautiful game. It had awesome music. Yeah. And there's a lot of like post-game content the, that's out there. The story was the only thing that it wasn't. It was bad. basic. It was just filler. It was basic. I mean, it was it was um, it was just there. Like yeah, Mario story, essentially. Yeah. 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 It was just basic. You didn't save the princess because the princess was with you, but whatever. <coughs> Spoiler, I guess. I, don't I know. think you were just trying to get the rabbits out of the kingdom. Yeah, essentially, you were trying to like fix the whole vortex and whatnot, and then <laughs> oh, oh the and there was that one rabbit that had the thing yeah. on his head, and he kept he was trying to get it off at some point. He yeah, was like help, and but he kept screwing things up. Yeah, 
eventually he like morphed and it became part of his body or yeah, whatever. Dang. Yeah, it was pretty graphic, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude. Rated and then e for spoilers. Everyone. That whole uh, um, the the God, my thesaurus is totally broken. <laughs> Just, just say the word. I can't think of the name of the word. It's like uh, the prophecy. self fulfilled Thank you. Self-fulfilled self prophecy. There was a self-fulfilling prophecy in this yeah, game. Yeah. It's like, and it was so funny because at the very end, he's like, oh, well, this mystery from the whole time, well, do, 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 do. And you, you just are like, oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, great. That's cool. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, I guess that makes sense now. Yeah. I, I didn't really care for it. What was it? FB is FB? the initials. I think it was. Yeah. 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 FB. Yeah. You're FB. Right, yeah. Uh, we're trying not to spoil it for Onyx or for oh, you because we didn't say spoilers. But thank you guys. the reveal of FB was like, okay. <laughs> anyway. <Yeah>. Anyways. <laughs> so those are. That's Ubisoft. <laughs> that's it, baby. I, I, think, <laughs> uh, I think if all of. Well, they're not all going to show up. But no. if, if Mario and Rabbids, Beyond Good and Evil 2, Rayman, Splinter Cell, and one or two of the others show up, that's a pretty solid conference. <laughs> He's oh, yawning in the middle. He's like, all I care about is Rayman, guys. Yeah, That's it. Man. He just wants more Rayman. I mean, Just Dance is going to kick us off again. Just Dance again. <laughs> these are fun conferences. I mean, I really it, it's like They're almost fun. expected. And, and the past couple conferences, they've been like really uh, humble. Yeah. Like the developers coming out have been like, thank you so much for playing yeah, yeah, these yeah. games. And like when they revealed Mario and Rabbids, you saw the guy crying. Like yeah, it was Miyamoto, like yeah, yeah, yeah. legit. Yeah, Miyamoto coming out was like, whoa. This was a legit love of games. Yes, for this sure. conference. And they, they have been really good the last couple. You're so right about that. And honestly, like, the I know I know they, they definitely should make Mario Rabbids 2 right now, but I'd, I'd love it if they announced like another Nintendo partnership. What franchise? I have no idea. But it'd be cool to see because they, they did Star Fox, they did Mario. I don't think they can keep that up though. Why not? I think they're gonna do Mario and Rabbit because then it's there's this expectation that they're gonna do a new Nintendo franchise yeah. every time. Hey man, you never know. Nobody have a dream, baby. Okay, if we're gonna dream, <laughs> who would it be? I don't know. That's hard. Like I said, F Zero, but like I want F Zero in more capable hands. No offense, Ubisoft. Like I, I want F Zero to be done by like Sega because they make some really good racers and stuff. Hmm. So I don't know. I, I have no idea what they could do. Star Fox was more of like. It wasn't like a full Star Fox game. It was Star Fox was in their game. Yeah, before. yeah, yeah. It what if just... instead of Project Cars, it's Project F Zero? Hey, pretty cool. Didn't but, uh, they have something last year where it was like cars, planes, boats, jet skis? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Eh, I don't know. We'll, well see. We'll see what happens, guys. Well, but thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm tired as hell. Are you guys tired? I just had coffee. I'm tired of you. Oh, you be soft. <laughs> <laughs> like what you saw? Check out some of our other videos. Be sure to click the subscribe button, hit the little bell, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for your support, and thanks for watching.